was on this slide, right? I was talking about importance of designing, right? So, uh, uh, in designing, um, some issue. I'm actually he hearing some kind of uh, sound, actually, some dark sound. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, uh, I was talking about design. So, most of these uh, people can get confused when they come up with a new design in a machinery or in a circuit or anything. So, for designing, the main thing is the aesthetic looks only. If you have made a pot or if you have made a mug or uh, any kind of like mobile shape, that is a matter of design. So, that is the design. But I think being in college, being as a uh, thinking of starting a startup, patent is the most important thing that you should focus on because you can get a patent for any product and process. Now, this is about intellectual property. Now, you can only earn money from intellectual property if it has been converted into intellectual property rights. For example, if you have a house, you have ownership of the house only when you register it. You get a registry done. Similarly, you owns intellectual property, but you owns the legal right on your intellectual property when you have a registration done through the competent authority. So, and how you can leverage intellectual property right? So it increased credibility. I gave you Puma, Puma example. It helps you to help you to grow business. So if you have intellectual property, you can grow your business without any fear of getting copied. You have power to eliminate competition because nobody else can, you know, copy your solution. Your valuation of the startup gets increased. And of course, you can license your patent application to any other company. You have to, uh, of course, respect others' IPR as well. So this is a uh, main of uh, major of intellectual property rights will give you. Okay. So uh, coming to the benefits. So this is the uh, benefits to a different personas. So I have like uh, have five personas uh, categorize the five personas: entrepreneurs, MSME, startups, universities, and student. And each of them have a variety of benefits from intellectual property. Primarily, in particular, through patents. So, if you read uh, about the students, students will get employability, higher employability, if you are an inventor in a patent application during your college days, or if you are an applicant of the patent application during your college days, because that filing of patent application proves that you have an innovative mind and you understand the importance of IP, which every corporate now wants their employee to know and every corporate is pushing their employees to come up with patentable ideas so that they can have a monopoly in the market and they can generate revenue from it. Plus, if you have good patents, you can go for higher studies right? and uh, number of benefits. Plus, for the universities, universities can increase their industry academy relationship, can license uh, the patent application and generate revenue from it. However, you have to be very specific when you're generating a uh, patent application. So one of the uh, main uh, re uh, point I really want to discuss on this particular slide is whenever you are in a university, you're a student or you are a professor. Generally, in my experience, I might be wrong, but in my experience of last uh, 14 years, I have seen that, especially in India, like whenever the patent applications is filed by a college, university, student or professor, that patent application is not been thoroughly compared or there is no market analysis before filing a patent application. A good innovation has been done. A patent application has been filed. But professors, students, universities only go look for customers of that patent application once you file the patent application. However, it has to be reversed. Remember my first slide? Know your customer. So whenever you're developing a patent application, you should know who is your customer. And then accordingly, develop a solution which is patentable, which most likely that customer will buy from you. 
I give you a short example. I uh, one of the professor in Gurugram, uh, she came in uh, touch with us, and she asked that I want to file patent applications, right? And they should have some commercial viability. So what we did, we first understood her profile, her profile of last fifteen, sixteen years, her, her her PhD thesis, and we came to know that that she has a very strong hand in data science, right? Data analysis. what we did we looked for companies small size companies who are growing and are into the same field then we shortlisted our customer we did a search on that company and that company has started filing patent application means they need more patent applications we went back discussed with the professor brainstormed the concept filed a patent application now in next 2 3 months this patent application will be licensed to this company and the professor will get revenue from it and the company is happy because they get the ready made patent application done so within 6 months one year time your patent application can be commercialized but remember strategy strategy with innovation so you have to have strategies behind it so in this way any patent application can be commercialized if the strategy is good now coming to the power of patents whatever as just mentioned right this is the real example though this is not from india this is a single innovator an individual innovator has thought and filed a patent application in us on multicolored lightning for speedometers he filed patent application got us patent and he saw that now harley and ford are coming with multicolored lightning speedometers which are infringing his patent application so he sued harley and ford and got money from them what was his efforts strategy he looked into the market trend he shortlisted the concept which will be in demand in future he zero down on his customers and he quietly filed patent application well drafted patent application enforceable patent application he got the patent and now he is generating revenue from it so don't that is really like most of the people and come and say that there is no use of filing a patent because they never get commercialized but my question is always to them what is the ground work you did before filing a patent application nothing no market analysis has been done so if you do a good market analysis if you draft your application very well then it is really it it very highly likely that you will get a commercialized you will be able to commercialize your patent application now this is the second example of very very minute thing we, every one of us wear jeans how many of you really ever bothered about these small copper rivets this is this was a subject matter of patent way back in 1873 remember 1873 number of years right centuries century old so at that time the tailor who is repairing jeans was having issues in restraining these strain points in the jeans technology everything is technology so this slide is an example that even a small innovation can make you big revenue can help you to start a business on it so this guy went to levy because he don't have money he went to levy that fi let's file a joint patent they filed joint patent they got the granted uh, got the patent and have the monopoly so patent is everywhere the technology the innovation is everywhere only thing is that you have to realize it if you don't realize the innovation you will be wasting innovation and maybe anybody else sir, can use me. it sir can you share yeah? your slide in full screen mode slide okay i didn't do it because webex uh, hang ho jata hai agar main kai baar karta hu na isse no sir yeah okay hmm. so this is the example i was taking okay and uh, so i will just move 
From this slide, please understand everything can be patented if strategy is important. Strategy is there. And you have to realize the innovation. This is infringement. This is really important for startups or student entrepreneurs who want to start their company. Never ever ignore intellectual property rights of others. And don't forget to develop intellectual property rights for your company. The first example is an example of ignoring the IPR rights. It, Indian company ignored patent of a Swiss company. They have to close down their company because they were sued for the patent infringement. Now, similarly, like uh, Fiat has sued Mahindra and Mahindra in US. Big companies can also uh, uh, be sued. Ericsson versus Micromax. Nobody has Micromax mobile phone nowadays. Why? Because of the patent infringement. Micromax become very big in 2012. And you know, Ericsson had these patents granted in 2006-2007. But Ericsson did not sued Micromax when the Micromax was very at the initial stage. They sued them when the Micromax was number one mobile seller. And Micromax tried to uh, battle the, you know, uh, this battle uh, legally and with for patent, but they could not. They have to settle the matter out of the court and they have to close down their mobiles. So imagine a company jumping from zero to hundred and then coming back to zero. So if you can do a due diligence, of others IPR right that will be very helpful. Similarly, the last example is creating a patent portfolio, not just in India, but in US. So this Pune company has a patent in US. Now they are suing big company, Royal Enfield, because they have a patent there. So patent is a territorial right. Don't think that this patent is in US. Let me take this patent in India. No. Patent will only given to you when your concept is new across the world. But you can enforce patent in within the country. So it's a territorial right. You cannot infringe, oh sorry, enforce your Indian patent in US. I will skip this. Uh, this is not relevant. So this is an example of student entrepreneurs who started with a, you know, uh, with a company based on one pattern application. Gray orange, you can search for uh, this. This is started from uh, Raisan only, from but they were British Palani students. And uh, they went for their, uh, uh, the training in a warehouse. They saw a problem. They saw, came back to their labs, find it a solution to it, remember, they find it the customer first and then develop the solution which a customer can buy, filed pattern application and then went to the same customer to sell the robots. And now they are a very big company today. But they kept filing pattern application. So you have to keep filing pattern applications and keep growing. It's not that you just file one pattern application and it's over. I'm talking about in a company. If you're an individual, you can do a focus patent filing and then go for, uh, to the company whom you want to sell your patent application. So these are the benefits of intellectual property. And uh, so in, in this, uh, you can, IP can be sold, acquired, licensed. For example, uh, if you want to do an international collaboration on a research, so why an international university will collaborate with your university or you as a professor if you have a patent application at least in your country on a particular topic or if you have a patent application in their country on the particular topic. So patent can help you to forge collaboration internationally also. These are the benefits. Now a simple example of ideation, validation and evaluation. Remember, I mentioned innovation, small innovation can be a good innovation, but you have to realize that innovation. So this is a simple problem like 
in colleges, right? Everybody speak on podium. Everybody touch that poor, uh, microphone to adjust the height. If there are multiple speakers, multiple speakers touch them. Now, this is a serious problem, which is apparent now after COVID. But we uh, have, uh, I am the innovator of this uh, innovation. We thought of this in 2018. I came back to office and we realized that yes, few sensors and servo motors can be employed to move this microphone with an algorithm. And we devised, we did a POC, we filed one patent application in India. With, for one year, we did more research, we see there's a potential, we filed PCT application. After PCT application, we did another POC and, uh, and tried to develop MVP. It is happening, we filed applications in Singapore, Australia, and US. So we got innovation patent in Australia now. Now, we realize the innovation, we did a market analysis, we develop a solution, we file patent application. Now, what we are doing, this is the uh, MVP in making. And now, since we got Australian patent, we have two applications there. We are licensing with universities there and will be launching this product in December 2021, if the, there's less restrictions due to COVID. So simple thing, small problem, develop a solution, see market analysis, file a patent application, and look for the customers. Now, uh, I will skip this uh, white space analysis and uh, Pattern landscapes because you know we have 20 minutes. I really want to have a discussion actually, so we can do it at a later stage also. So these are the patent application simple process. I particularly mentioned simple process. Patent is not a complex process. You know uh, we have uh, got a one patent for professors from Indore in 10 months, and they gave us one one or two page document on a particular concept. Our team developed that in a logical form, patentable form, because we are engineers and lawyers and we are innovators. So we put in all more innovative features in it. We filed the patent application after, after careful drafting. And within 10 months, we got the patent granted from Indian patent office. So if your strategy is well, this is a very, very simple process. And again, don't try to do it on your own. Why? It's not because I am a patent agent. No, because you are an innovator. You can think of one particular solution, but maybe your patent, your idea is implementable in number of fields, but you will not able to realize it. And there's another example to it. Why not do it yourself about the patent? Because you are an innovator and patent application should be done through a patent expert. A simple analogy. There are two friends, one is cardiologist, one is neurologist. If a cardiologist has an issue with nerves, he will not treat himself, he will go to neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeon have an issue with heart, he will not treat himself, he will go to cardiologist. They are good friends, expert doctors, have studied in the same class, but have different expertise. So, in a similar way, it's a simple process, if you follow the good strategy. Portfolio development strategy, this is really important. You file a provisional application to secure the priority date. That is really important. Very uh, less expensive task. And after filing a provisional, you do market analysis, patentability search, you know, understand whether there is a market or not for this concept. Is there any customer or not? If you find this, there is a customer, there is a market, then you can go with complete application drafting. In between, you can approach companies as well for commercial uh, commercialization or selling of your patent or patent application. And then you can follow the steps for uh, examination and for an application. But the main part is focusing on the problem which is there and solution is needed from a customer who is very likely to pay for the solution if provided to him. So uh, commercially viable patent and patent innovations, you can use patent database. For example, just for example, 
I will touch this. So these are the innovations already done prior at 654. So by using patent landscape, patent databases, you can find out this white space, which will give you the innovation, patent table innovation, which has commercial viability. But again, this has to be done through some experts in the patent databases. So for example, if you are doing, uh, say for example, GIT will do an Envitathon, okay? Shortlist the problems. From where you will get the problems? Go to the industries nearby you, like Jaipur has good industries. You go and seek the problem statement from these industries. Come back, do pattern landscape, try and find out a uh, problem solution, uh, sorry, solution, which is patentable, and then develop some logical solution or a simulation to it. Go back to those uh, industries with the solution, with the provisional pattern application number and present them the business benefits of taking this pattern application. So very likely you will be able to succeed in it. So these are the few databases. These are the benefits pattern landscape. So I will now, this is what I always give, uh, tell to, you know, universities or colleges or students. Do not reinvent the wheel. Do not. Means, okay, let me uh, develop an economical uh, thing which is existing in US. No, don't reinvent. Protect your idea with priority. Means file a provisional pattern application. Make sure efforts have commercial aspects. Do a technological evaluation of idea based on market. Then, based on that, you can pitch that particular app, uh, pitch that idea to the customers, enter into licensing. This is a cyclic process, and universities in US are generating billion dollar per year by following these steps. Very easy steps, but need to be done. You need to form a group. You need to form a group which will work, which will go to industries, which needs to need which, which have their problems, solve their problems, file patent and sell them patents. MSMEs need patents to fill up uh, government tenders, supply them patent applications, which is commercial benefit for them, help them to curb the competition. Right. So this is the strategy you should follow. And uh, with this, I try to be very, you know, fast, but again, I'm available. You can write me an email like, uh, so, uh, Dr. Patidhar is there and uh, Ajish is there. We can like connect as connect with us anytime. Happy to have small group discussions, right? And happy to help uh, building student entrepreneurs from your college. And now I'm open to discussions and chat. So I will stop sharing my screen and happy to have a discussion. And uh, just one more thing. I asked a question when I started my presentation. So in a hyper local delivery model, who is your customer? Anybody can answer? Student can write uh, in the chat box also. If not, the proper audio will. Okay. <laughs> Nothing in sent the question. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And of course, you can answer uh, in meantime, any questions, like if you have any query, though I know I, I, I was a bit fast. I try to, you know, convey what I want to convey. But yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Okay, student can ask by unmuting. Yeah, you can, you can, they can unmute and ask. Any question from a student side?
So you can unmute yourself and then ask yourself. I guess no questions. <laughs> yes, sir. Moving on to side. So, uh, does anyone has answer to this question which I have mentioned? At least I can ask question. In a hyper local delivery concept, who is customer? The student can write the answer in chat box. I'm sure uh, some of you might be thinking of starting your own startup. Sir, local audience. Uh, okay, I wait for more answers for next two minutes. If I didn't get answer, I will let you know the answer. So let, let, let me uh, speak about it. So in a hyper-local delivery concept, see, you are, uh, you know, uh, there will be a customer who is ordering foods or groceries. Those are not your direct customers. Your direct customer is the shop owner. So you need to have this, this is your B2B concept, not B2C. Or in new terms, it is B2B to C. B to B to C. So you need to have yeah. So uh, you need to have your shop owners on your app. If shop owners are on your app, then the customers who are ordering from those shops, maybe a restaurant, maybe a you know food joint or anyone, they will order if you have those. So your customer is those business owners who are selling their goods and groceries. So if you have them on your platform, people who are ordering will come to your platform. So for you in a hyper-local delivery, which is very happening, like I can see that there are around 10 such concerts are mushrooming in Jaipur area. That's why I took take this uh, concept. So your customer is the shop owner. So that is why it's really important when you're starting a business, you should know who is your customer. Similarly, for patent filing, if like any student or any professor wants to file a patent application, you should know who is your customer for that patent application. So that it is easy for you to get the commercial benefits from it. Else you can file n number of patent applications. But what is the use of filing those patent applications if you cannot commercialize them? Right? So uh, this is, I think, I and if you have any, someone has any different opinion on my uh, this uh, hyper local example, please feel free to share. Mm. Yes, like Swiggy Zomato Uber. See, Swiggy Zomato Uber is not hyper local. They are like across the city. Hyper local means. Uh, I think uh, you have a small, small areas in Jaipur, right? Uh, I forget the name. Like there is a say MNIT college is there, right? There's some some incubation center also of uh, some government organization. Hyper local means local Kirana shops are delivering foods or groceries online. That is called hyper local. Means which is within the uh, dia of five kilometer. That is called hyperlocal, or maybe in the dia of ten kilometer. So these are the hyperlocal delivery foods, and if you have uh, those things and your customers, you can start doing it, and it's a it's a good business. So I think any any further questions? I think, uh, sir. Uh, if we have not, so we can. But I know uh, because of the you know technical glitch, things could not be. 
Bhupendra is asking correct. Number of, uh, Bhupendra, you just go Google and say hyper local delivery companies. You will get a list of companies. Yeah. I think. Shall we wind up, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Just. Uh... Okay, sir, thank you very much, sir, for this uh, knowledgeable session on IPR and IP management. I assure you that uh, this session will be very much beneficial to the participants uh, in terms of creating awareness about uh, IPR and patent. Also to protect and explore the IPRs in the startup. Also to develop academic and industrial research perspective. Thanks again, sir, for giving us valuable time for this session. Also. Very special thanks to all the PCS student participants who make this session meaningful. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Thank you.